Once we got the go-ahead in terms of being able to get you know, um, isolation removed and now pre-departure tests removed, it's come back pretty strong. So customers are showing a real willingness to get out there and travel. Things that we've taken uh, the opportunity to get on top of is, is simplifying our business, simplification of fleet, simplification of our processes and procedures. Uh, that's one area. The second area is to have a look at talent. You know, I think restarting the airline is an opportunity to really look closely at the talent you have, both within your business and if you need to get people externally, then what are those sort of people? And the third thing that we've done is really look at what, you know, are we going to provide the customers that's going to get them really excited about travel in the future. I do think it is a really wicked problem to solve, but I think it's up to us to work out how to do that. And by us, I mean not just airlines and not even just airline suppliers. It needs to be a combination of private and public working together. And the problem is not just SAF, the problem uh, depends you know, on your airline and the routes you fly, the geography you operate in. In the case of Air New Zealand, we're looking uh, to solve our shorter routes domestically. With electrification, we're looking to solve slightly longer routes domestically with probably you know, green hydrogen electric and then of course long haul flying with sustainable aviation fuels. So a combination of things, pulling them together um, and working over a 10, 20, 30 year program to solve this using a combination of private and public working together. You know, I'm proud to say it's something that Air New Zealand, and in fact the entire country, has been conscious of, you know, including, you know, a country that allowed women to vote first in the world, um, you know, a succession of women prime ministers. In the case of Air New Zealand, about 50% of our leadership are, are women. Um, and it's not just women, it's looking at diversity across a whole range of aspects. I think it adds so much value to your organisation when you have people coming at it from different perspectives. So, you know, we're out there, it's a big deal in terms of how we think about what we do and how we operate the business.